Hey guys, it's Jenny and Nicole, and today it is all about hot mom topics. Hot topics. Trending Woo. topics. Let's do it. Kim Kardashian got robbed. I think the whole night was bad just because she shared where she was, what she was doing, what she was wearing, what she had on her. So when you share all of that and then that happens, it's just like it kind of all comes together and makes sense. In so, a place that you're not familiar with. I mean, it's not right. even our own country. So ever since that happened, I haven't heard from her at all. I don't think she's even tweeted yet. Or Snapchat. I feel like she's like laying low off social media. And even though it was a terrible thing that happened, I'm glad it happened because it's probably a wake-up call for her because you have to protect those little babies. I'm I mean, glad it happened to that extent. Right. And like, nothing else fine, happened to her. She's nothing happened. Yeah. But I'm sure she's thinking now, oh my God, I really need to censor my life because what if, God forbid, my kids were there. We're not in the same boat as her, but I mean, you know, we, we share a lot with our fans and, you know, because we love you guys, but sometimes the wrong people see it and then it can... It can turn into something scary like that. Right away she said, I'm a mom, please don't hurt me. Yeah. It's the first thing she said, supposedly, which I, I don't doubt. Yeah. Because that, that's what I would do. Glad you're safe, Kim. And we hope you um, censor a little bit more. Well, we still want to know what you're doing, but be careful. Mm -hmm. All right, so another huge topic is parental leave. Mm -hmm. And some countries are super kick-ass in this. Our country actually is not which we need to fix. We filmed our pregnancies and birth. And so we, we were working during, we were actually working when we pushed out our child. That and was after, And actually, Milani got to go home to a film house, not our house, because we're not allowed to film in our town. Yeah. And Roger actually wasn't allowed leave either. But there's that sense of like, when's enough time? How much is enough time? It should be paid. And I feel like, we should take after other countries that made this such a, an important thing. Me and Nicole are super pro uh, maternity leave and mm -hmm. paternity leave for both parents because they have the right to be with their children for an extended time. Yeah, so hopefully it'll change for us. Mm -hmm. Cross fingers. So there's this guy in Rhode Island that wrote a letter that went viral about how women shouldn't wear yoga pants. That's my everyday wear. Every day. I have them on right now. Every day. I don't tell you how to wear those like extra tight camo like nut crushers. Yeah, like I don't write letters over those. I don't want to see your balls off to the side, but I'm not judging. Yeah. So leave us alone. Yeah. Chrissy Teigen is a proud shamer of mom shamers, mm -hmm. and recently she tweeted at a person that was kind of like criticizing her for how she held her daughter baby, yeah. for one second in a paparazzi shot. They have no idea the situation. It's have chaos. But that person had to speak their mind and write Chrissy, which rightfully so, Chrissy snapped back. Which you should. Don't talk about me and my baby in a hectic situation. When you're chased by paparazzi by yourself, it's crazy, let you, alone yeah. having your child. So until you're put in that position, you should never judge or try and criticize that parent by tweeting them yeah. some like horrible thing that's so rude. You deserve everything that Chrissy gave you. So if you have any topics that you wanna talk about, Subscribe, comment below, hit the like button. Yep, let us tell know. Tell us, and we will see you in a couple weeks. We love you. Bye.